Welcome to Pinoy Tech Tips. In this video, I will show you how to enable USB debugging on the Poco M3 smartphone. Enabling this feature is usually needed when your computer is unable to access your phone's internal storage for media file transfers. File transfer between Android smartphones and computers can be carried out using conventional and traditional methods. Conventional file transfer method mainly uses wireless systems like Bluetooth, while traditional uses the wired method via USB or data cables. When moving files from an Android phone to a computer using a USB connection, you will need to plug your phone to the computer's USB port using compatible data cable or the USB cable that came with the phone. The concept is basically just plug and play. This means that your computer should be able to detect your phone once connected, and then access the phone's internal storage via using the computer's built-in file explorer. However, some Android devices don't work that way, and the computer won't be able to access the phone's internal storage even when the device is connected. What the phone does instead is instigate battery charging through the computer's USB port. In this case, you will need to enable a certain feature on your Android phone that will automatically activate file transfer protocol the moment it's connected to a computer via USB connection. And here's how it's done on the Poco M3 smartphone. In order to access and activate the USB debugging switch, you must have enabled developer options on your phone beforehand. If you haven't already, then that should be the first thing you do. Once you've got everything set, unlock your phone to access the home screen or app screen. While on the app screen, tap the settings icon. The main settings menu will load up on the next screen. On this menu, you will see a list of all the features of your phone. Scroll down to the lower section and then tap additional settings. Another menu opens with more settings and options to manage. At the bottom of the list, you will see developer options. Tap on it to access the hidden features contained in the phone's developer options menu. Scroll down to the debugging section. Then, tap to turn on the switch next to USB debugging. If prompted, read the important warning. Then tap the accept button to proceed. The USB debugging switch will then turn blue. This means that the feature is already enabled. At this point, you can try reconnecting your phone to your computer using the USB cable. The computer should now be able to recognize your device. If prompted with which actions to choose, select MTP or FTP from the pop-up screen. Doing so will grant permission to your computer to access the phone's internal storage and execute file transfers as intended. And that's how to enable USB debugging on the POCO M3 through the Developer Options menu. If you find this content useful, please help our channel grow by leaving a like, subscribe and enable the bell icon to get notified on our latest video uploads. Thank you for watching.